Hi everyone, welcome to DevOps course. In this course, we will learn the tool stack which is required for a DevOps engineer in their day-to-day -day life and also the very much important concepts which will cover you through like to understand the entire work, work and also the entire technology which is required to be known as a DevOps. So in this DevOps course, we have planned in a well manner that the each individual can have a hands-on and also good understanding of the concepts. And at the end of the course, with a confidence like, you know, you can go as a DevOps engineer. So we will start with Linux and the basic file systems like as a DevOps engineer, it is important to know like since the where the applications install and also the where the applications run in the production environments of the, any organization. So we will learn Linux and the file system, the basic commands in the Linux, which are very much useful in the day to day life. And then we will move on to Git, the version control system in Git. We will learn some basics to advanced so starting from like committing the code and writing some code and committing it and managing like we will discuss we have the branching strategies like trunk based branching strategies and different branching strategies which are followed in the in the organizations and at the end of the linux and git classes we will go we will have a hands-on exercise wherein we will share the work among us in the team and each one of us will be given a task and they have to perform a task which is given to them so that you know at the, uh, everyone will be aware of the each in the each and every concepts which we have discussed and then we will move on to it is important to know the any public cloud environment so we will learn azure <coughs> and in azure we will start with like what are different regions and what are the zones and what is Azure and the important uh, elements which are in the Azure like subscription and the resource group, the hierarchy of the resources, how they are maintained. And we will learn the compute services and also the database services and the different kind of services which are available. We will explore more and also the IAM, the access management and how it is being managed and what are the different types of access management available in Azure like which are passwordless authentications by managing authentic managed identities or federated identities and in the course in the meantime we will also the, at the end of each concept we will go through uh, we will discuss a project we will perform we will uh, do a project and also we will in the same way the, the at the end of the linux and git course we have made the task list and assigned to each one of us so we will perform the same thing at the mid of uh, after the completion of project one on the azure so that you know everyone will be aware of the concepts which we have discussed so far in the class and then we will learn the database and also the storage services and terraform is like the infrastructure as a code so it is important to learn terraform as a devops engineer nowadays and terraform is not only used to provision the resources in any one of the cloud but also it have around like more than 100 providers and it's increasing day by day and we'll see like what is provider and what is the what are the important components of terraform and the data types which are available in terraform and how to write few resources and also a set of resources called like modules a, sta a standard uh, architected methods or like you know modules we we will write and like what are the modules and how they can be called so we will learn them in terraform codes and and at the same time after the end of terraform codes we will be assigning with some tasks so that you know we will be revising the concepts of Terraform. And then we will, the orchestration tools like the container containerization of apps and the container orchestration tools are very much 
in demand and also the demand for them is growing day by day which are docker and kubernetes so we will learn the docker and dockerization the containerization of the applications and deploying those applications the containerized applications into kubernetes environment so we will discuss the architecture of kubernetes and the basic elements the fundamental elements of kubernetes like the pods and the replicas and the deployments and volumes we will discuss series services like the load balancer services or the node port services multiple services which are available and we will also do a project using the kubernetes and also the docker and then we will move on to the cacd uh, build build tools so jenkins was the most used and nowadays there is an increasing demand for github actions or github ci gitlab ci or bitbucket so each git provider are coming up with their own pipeline environment like and by setting up the container runners or like you know they are coming up so and the pipeline structure or the job structure over there is a yaml so it is important to learn the github actions so if you learn github actions it would be similar in bitbucket pipelines or gitlab ci so it can be any you know new uh, pipeline services which are getting introduced so the transmissions from jenkins towards github actions we can say are like the new implementations we can say they are getting implemented highly on using the yaml files and the respective git providers so it is important to learn the github actions so we will learn github actions like what are the workflows how the jobs are being written how can we manage the secrets in the github credentials and also use them in the github pipelines and then we will perform the end to end testing like you know we will try to implement whatever the content that we have learned in the as a part of the course like the terraform code that we have uh, studied as part of the course will implement in the cicd pipeline and also the containerization code or the docker code the docker is containerization of any application code that also we will try perform the building and also the deployment will be practiced and made hands on using this cacd tools so you can go through this content and also be confident on the stuff like you will be learned with the concepts which are very much important and used in a day to day life of devops engineer thank you so much guys